Right guys, welcome back to day 36 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling while we can't be at school. Um, uh, please be sat with an adult, uh, please have a piece of paper and a pencil ready, and please join in, please call out. Okay guys, here we go. So today we're going to be looking at fractions, uh, including um, half and a quarter. Uh, so, But before we do that, we're just going to remind ourselves of some doubling facts. And doubling is... There's something to do with doubling and halving, isn't there? Doubling is the opposite of a half. So um, knowing your doubling facts helps you with your halving facts. Okay, so we've got four, and it's a double four. What's turn to partner? Double four. Yeah, eight. Good job. Double three. Three add three. Turn to partner. Yeah, six. Double nine, tricky one. Double nine. Yes, eighteen. Double seven. What's double seven? Turn to your partner. Yeah, fourteen. Double eight. What's double eight? Turn to your partner. Yeah, sixteen. Double six. What's double six? Turn to your partner. Twelve. Fantastic. Okay. We're going to play Funky Mummy now. And in Funky Mummy, you've got a mummy that um, will come out of his um, sarcophagus if you get the answer right. And we're going to do halves. Um, we'll do uh, halves up to ten first. So it says half of ten is... And you ought to choose which sarcophagus is the right one. Uh, so half of ten is five. Fantastic. And then he goes away again. And then it says half of eight. What's half of eight? Call out. Yeah, it's four. No, actually, don't want to make this harder. This is too easy. Let's do even halves up to twenty. Okay. Oh, half of eight again. What's half of eight? Yeah, four. Thank you, Funky Mummy. Nice moves. Half of 14. What do you double to make 14? What number would you double and get 14? So what's half of 14? Yeah, seven. Half of eight. What's half of eight? Yeah, four. Two more. We'll two more of these now. Oh, I've had that one. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, let's press next. Uh, let's keep pressing next. Oh, half of ten. Half of twenty. <laughs> I'm so rubbish. Oh, I always say the answer. Half of twenty. Yes, it's ten. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna keep pressing the button until I get one I like that I want you to see. Uh, half of twelve. What's half of twelve? Fantastic. Six. Okay. Now we're going to do some halving with shapes in a minute. So I'm going to look at some shapes first of all. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to start at the top and count the vertices first. Here's a vertex. Um, when you get lots of them, they're called vertices. Let's count the corners. One, two, three, four. What shape do you think that is? What's that shape going to be? Change partner. Yeah, it's got two long sides and two short sides, so it's a rectangle. Fantastic. Let's try the next one. Oh, this looks like a tricky one. Oh my word, you might not know this one. Let's count the corners, the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you probably won't know this one. Set. Set. Yeah. It's a septagon. Oh, my word. Septagon. That was a hard one, that one. Okay, let's see what this one is. Let's count the corners. One, two, three. Did I say corners again? I did. Vertices. Let's count the vertices. One, two, three. Let's count the sides. One, two, three. What's that, sh what's that shape? Yes. It's a bit like a bike. With three wheels is called a tricycle. A shape 
with three sides is called a triangle. Let's try the next one. Okay, here we go. Let's start from the top. Let's be efficient. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. You might remember from before, there was a, a super teacher I worked with who had a nice trick for this. She would draw a, a, a penguin in there. She'd put a beak there, and then one flipper there, one flipper there. Then there's the body, and then there'd be two little um, feet. It's like a penguin, it's a pentagon. Fantastic. Okay. Right, last one. Let's count the corners. One, two, three. I said corners again, didn't I? Let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices. Count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Don't you, partner? <sighs> yeah. Hexagon. My turn. Six sides, hexagon. Your turn. Say six sides, hexagon. Six sides, hexagon. Your turn. Six sides, hexagon. Okay, let's do something else. Okay, now I've got a shape here. And uh, let me just move down a little bit. So you can... okay, I've got a shape here. What's that shape called? Yes, it's a square. Lovely job. Okay, and today what we're looking at is we're going to be splitting shapes. Uh, let me just change my colour a minute. Okay, we're going to be finding half and a quarter of a shape. So first of all, let's find a half. To find a half, I can just cut it down the middle and shade one side. That's half. Okay. Could I shade, if I just go backwards a bit, could I shade this side and say it's a half? Yes, yes I could. It doesn't matter which half you shade in, they're, because they're both the... Uh, same fantastic let me show you another way or do you know another way i could um shade half yes i could i could go across horizontally like that couldn't i which one should i shade okay top one okay does it matter which one i shade why not because they're both the uh, same that's right fantastic now when we're talking about half this is how we spell half in um, in English, sorry, half, half. In maths, we spell it a different way. We write it a different way. We write one part of a shape that was cut into two, all parts the same size. Let's do that again together. One part of a shape that was cut into two, all parts the same size. One more time. One part of a shape, that changed colour, you can see it. One part of a shape that was cut into two, all parts the same size. That's looking really messy now. <laughs> One more time. One part of a shape that was cut into two, all parts the same size. Now let's have a look at another shape. Uh, oh, what's this one? What's this one? Let's count the corners. One, one, two. I said corners again, didn't I? Vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. <sighs> hexagon. Fantastic. Well done. Hexagon. It's a hexagon. Okay. Now we're going to shade our hexagon. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, so we're going to find half. I could draw a line down the middle like that and shade that half. Could I shade the other half? Yes, I could because they're both... Uh, same, fantastic, fantastic. That's half too, that's half. Okay, there are other ways I could shade my half here. I could cut it through like that and shade half. I could cut it through like that and shade half. There's lots of ways on a hexagon to find half. Okay, let's choose another one. This one, okay. Because I want to push it on from halves as well. Okay, what's that shape called? Yes, yeah, easy one. It's a rectangle. Now, we've been talking about half. We've been talking about one part of a shape that was cut into two. That's half. 
What's it called though, if you do that? It's not a half, is it? How many have I cut it into? I've cut it into four. And if I color that one in, it's one part of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. I'm just gonna get rid of that. We don't want that confusing us. No, okay. It's, this means, uh, the, do you know how to say that in English? In English, we spell it like this, quarter, at one quarter, a quarter, one quarter, one part of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. Okay, let's find another one. Let's, what's this one called? Let's count the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners. What animal in the sea has eight legs? It's an octagon. Fantastic, well done. Okay, so let's do, let's find one half of an octagon. Which way could I uh, uh, cut it up? Yeah, well, there's a lot of, so many ways. There's lots of ways on this one. I might, I'll just go straight down the middle, just for simplicity. Okay, that's half. Okay, we're getting happier with halves. If I cut it like this, what's that? It's not half anymore, is it? I'm gonna get rub this out. It's fantastic. It's one quarter, one part of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. Okay, what if I take this a bit further? What if I shade two parts of a shape that was cut into four? What if I change this to two parts of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size? That, you call that two quarters. Okay, let's try another one. Let's shade it a bit more. How many parts have I got shaded now? Yeah, three. So it's not two parts of a shape that was cut into four. Now it's three parts of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. And we, in English, we say that's three quarters. Three quarters. So. Hang on, let me just come across a little bit because you can't see a bit of one of the shapes. I'm going to cut it into quarters. I, I tell you, I'll do it a different way. Okay, now it's cut into four pieces. Okay, I'm going to shade one of those. What's that one? It's one quarter, one part of a shape that was cut into four. If I, does it matter which one I shade? No, they're all, because they're all, uh, Fantastic, all the same. Let me shade another one. What have I got now? Yes, two quarters, two parts of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. Okay, I've been going on way too long. Let's play a game and see if we can make that feel much more comfortable. We're gonna play fire pit fractions. Okay, and this is a bit harder than you need in year one, um, but year two, it's got lots of, of other things that you do need. So the idea is you're having a fire pit and you're gonna work with halves and quarters and you're cooking some sausage, sausages or bread, okay? And if you get it right, you gain five, five stars in the sky. And if you get it wrong, you lose five stars in the sky. So let's have a look. Oh, I'm cooking a crumpet. Okay, now this is one part of a shape that was cut into four all parts the same size, or in English, a quarter, okay? So first of all, let's have a look. It can't be that one, because that was cut into two. It can't be that one, because that's cut into five. What could it be? It could be that one, yeah, but that's two parts of a shape that was cut into four, so it can't, actually, no, it can't be that one. So it's, now, is, is that one part of a shape that was cut? into four, all parts the same size. Yeah, that is one quarter, that one. Brilliant. Let's have a look. Ooh, toast. Yummy. Get some jam. And chocolate spread. Right. Two parts of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. Right, now, 
two quarters. Well, that's cut into one, two, three, four, five. So it's not that one. We can forget that one. That one's cut into five as well. So it's not that one. That one is cut into four, but they're all shaded in. That's four quarters. Oh, this is a bit tricky. We haven't put the lines on this one. If it was cut into four, if it was cut across like that and down like that, this one would be two quarters, two parts of a shape that was cut into four. That's a quite a tricky one, that one. Sorry about that one. Okay. And what sausage? Let's get the onions out. One quarter, one part of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. Well, that's cut into four, so it could be that one. That's cut into four, so it could be that one. That's cut into three, so it can't be that one, so I'm going to forget about that one now. That one's cut into four. Oh, there's a few it could be. Right. That one's two parts of a shape that was cut into four, so it's not that one. That one's two parts of a shape that were cut into four, so it can't be that one. That's one part of a shape that was cut into four. It's that one. It's that one. Fantastic. Do you get the idea? I'll have one more go, and then uh, afterwards you can have a go at this yourself. Okay, half. One part of a shape that was cut into two, all parts the same size. Hmm. Well, that's cut into four, and there's three of them are coloured in. That's cut into two, but there's two two halves there, so it's not that one. That's cut into four, but it's only got one of them shaded in. We want cut into two. That's cut into two, and it's one part of a shape that was cut into two. One part of a shape that was cut into two. It's half. Brilliant, that one. So I'll put the link to that um, uh, underneath this video. Have a go, guys. Um, uh, I think I've got, I was going to do some more bits, but I think that's too much now. I've been going on a long time. So please um, have a go maybe at um, the Funky Mummy with um, halves up to 20 and have a go with fire pit fractions. Okay, um, have a super afternoon. Well done, guys. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I forgot the prize. I forgot the prize. Right, this is what you get. You get a doubling cup. Whenever anyone pours into your doubling cup, it creates double the amount. So if they pour um, uh, some chocolate milkshake in there, you can drink it, and then you get a whole another cup full automatically appears. Uh, if they pour um, a lemonade in there and you drink the lemonade, then instantly it fills up with more lemonade. Brilliant. Okay, have a super day. Well done. Bye.